we're going to see the BIOS chip pen configuration. We're going also to see how to download the circuit diagram of every BIOS chip you want. We will also to see the schematic of the BIOS chip and of course we will see some real BIOS chip in the motherboard and we will use the multimeter to check its pins, to check the VCC pin and of course to check the ground pin etc. So let's get started. So as you can see here, this is 8-pin BIOS chip as you can see. But first, I will show you how to download any BIOS chip you want. So let's assume that, for example, we have a BIOS chip with this reference 25Q16BVSIG. Okay, so here we have 16, so this is the size of the BIOS chip, so 16 in megabit. So 16 in megabit equal to 2 megabyte. So let's go to Google and type this reference 25Q16PVSIG and then press enter. So as you can see here we have the first result we have here 25Q16PVSIG. So let's get to this first result. So here we have the same reference as you can see here. So this is 16 megabit serial flash memory as you can see. So 16 megabit means 2 megabytes. Okay, so let's go here and download the data sheet. So let's just click here, download. So here we go. Here we have the file as you can see. So we have 25Q16BV, as you can see also here, we have the 25Q16BVS or BVF. This is interchangeable, FIG or BVSIG, no problem, because this is the interchangeable. Okay, all these are interchangeable. This BIOS reference BVSIG is the interchangeable with this. Okay, so now let's see the configuration as you can see here this is the table of continent where we have all about this bios we have here the pin configuration as you can see you can read about every pin it's working principle okay so let's go directly to the pin configuration okay so here as you can see we have the features as you can see here this is 25q 16 bv as you see 16 megabit or 2 megabyte as I told to you, okay? So because 8 bit equal 1 byte, so this is a 16 megabyte or 2 megabyte. So here we have many features as you can see. You can read all these features. And here as you can see, we have the pin configuration of this BIOS, okay? So this is the pin number one. Always we have this mark here in the pin number one, okay? This is the pin number two, as you can see. This is input output data as you see do means data output okay here we have the wp the right project okay here we have the ground always the bias chip in the pin number four is connected to the ground we will see this in the motherboard okay in the in in a real motherboard so here we have pin five we have di this means data in okay so data out and data in here here we have the clock okay this is for synchronization this is the clock every ic should receive a clock signal okay for the synchronization okay so this is the clock here we have the hold for input output and here this is the vcc always the eight pin bios is powered in the pin number 8. So in the motherboard, when you want to check whether the BIOS is receiving the power or not, you should check the pin number 8. And you have to find 3.3 volt. Okay? When you plug the adapter in the power jack of the laptop motherboard, you should go directly to the BIOS and you should find 3.3 volts in the pin number 8. Without powering on the laptop okay so this is the pin configuration so here as you can see in this table this is the pin description as you can see 
So always in the pin number one, we have the chip select, as you can see, the C as means chip select input. This is the data output, as you can see. This is the write protect input. Always in pin number four, we have ground. Data input, as you can see, in pin number five. We have clock in pin number six. Serial clock, as you can see. Hold in pin number seven. And the power supply, as you can see here, in the pin number eight, VCC. Okay? So now I will show you the schematic of the BIOS in a real laptop schematic. So this is a laptop schematic, no matter the type of the laptop. Because I teach to you the working principle. If you complete this course, you will learn the working principle of how you can flash the BIOS. What is the BIOS, the pin configuration of the BIOS, the schematic of the BIOS, etc. So the working principle is the same. If you get and understand this course, you will understand any schematic and any pin configuration of any BIOS chip. Okay? So for example, here we have the table of content for this schematic. As you can see here, let's check for the BIOS. Here we have the ICH, as you can see here we have the DC battery changer, CDX battery connector, the system power, 3 volt, 5 volt. Here we have the processor, the GMCH, the DDR, this is the RAM. So here we have LCD connector, this is the ICH or the third bridge. We have the SPI, SPI means the BIOS chip, okay? So here we have the CPI as you can see. So always the BIOS is near of the Super IO and also near of the ICH. So the BIOS is in page 38. So let's go to page 38. Here we go. So let's zoom in a little bit. So as you can see here, so this is the BIOS. As you can see, the same pin configuration. Okay, we have here. So the output signal, this is the right product, this is the VSS, always connected to the ground. Here, of course, this is another type of BIOS in the schematic. This is for this is not a wind bond, this is SST 25L F080A. So this is another type of BIOS. But as I told you, the working principle is the same. So as you can see, the pin number four, as I told to you, is always connected to the ground. So here, as you see, we have pin five. Okay, we have the here the clock, the hold, and the VDD. As you can see, we have three volts. Always in pin number eight, you should find three volts. Okay. So as you can see in this laptop motherboard, this is the BIOS. As you can see, here we have this dot means this is the pin number one. Okay. Pin number two, three. Pin number four. Always the pin number four is connected to the ground. We will check it. Pin number five, six, seven, and eight. Eight always is connected to the VCC. So to check the bias, let's use the multimeter. Let's first put the multimeter selector to the buzzer option. As you can see here. And or to the continuity option and then press the power button. Okay. So as I told to you, always the pin number one. We have pin number one, two, three, always the pin number four is connected to the ground. So let's check pin number four, as you can see here. Let's check first the continuity. The continuity is seated correctly. So let's, I will put the read probe in the pin number four and then the other probe in the ground, as you can see. So as you can see in the multimeter, low resistance means the pin number 4 is connected to the ground. The pin number 8 should not be connected to the ground because the pin number 8 is connected to the power rail, as you can see. It's not connected to the ground. Okay? So we have here another bias, as you can see. Here we have this whole head, means this is the pin number 1, 2, 3 and 4. Let's check the pin number 4. Always the pin number 4 should be connected to the ground, as you can see. And here we have the pin number 8, where we should check whether we have 3 volt or not when you plug the power jack here in the power jack. Or when you plug the adapter in the power jack, okay? So what you should remember is that the power or the bias chip is always near to the ICH or to, to the super IO. As you can see here we have the super IO directly under the super IO, as you can see, we have the bias.
you can see here. Okay, so and the bias, the eight pin bias that is used frequently in the motherboards, composite of eight pin. Always the pin number four is connected to the ground, and the pin number eight is connected to the VCC. Okay. 